All right, guys, you're the Lakers. What's in your head right now? How do you turn this thing around here to start the fourth? Oh, you got to find a way to get stops. You give up 34 points in the second quarter. You give up 29 points in the third. This is not a high-scoring Celtic team. Your defense is, is your defense is is soft if you're the Lakers. You got to find a way to begin to defend. Farmar hits a three. That's a good start for the Lakers. The Celtics have 28 field goals, 25 assists, led by Rondo's 12. Lakers have had some big comebacks and have done so against the Spurs. But not by this many in the fourth quarter. Rondo out to Poe. Poe to the basket again. Leon Poe for the game of his life. Five for five from the field. He's got 16 points in 10 minutes. And a foul on Poe down the other end. And you look at Poe and you say, what is he doing on the floor? Simply put, he's out working every big man out there. Catching the ball in position, he's in attack mode, puts the ball on the floor. Luke Walton is a three-man, allowing Poe to blow by him and get all the way to the cup. Inexcusable if you're Phil Jackson. Kobe Bryant, nice pass to Turiak. Poe's had you know, big scoring games during the regular season, but on this stage, the efficiency and the amount of minutes he's been out there. What a performance. And give Doc Rivers credit. He said, hey, my bench is going to play a big role in this series. Guys that he didn't go to in the previous round of the playoffs are now stepping up big. William Chick deflects it out of bounds. Celtics will have five to shoot. Rondo throws it up at the rim, hits the rim, and P.J. Brown the rebound. So they get a new 24. Everything going the Celtics way right now. Rondo inside. Leon Paul hammered by Vujicic. And more free throws coming up for the Boston Celtics. Garnett will return. In the series after tonight, shifts to the Staples Center. Lakers, no doubt, can't wait to get back there. Games three, four, and five in Los Angeles. Our coverage for all games begins at 8.30 Eastern. Tip off shortly after nine. This young man, we, perhaps you heard that incredible story in the feature at halftime. Now backing it up with just tremendous play. Doc Rivers said he's one of his favorite players. He's coached. He's just so quiet. Like a number of the players on the bench fell out of the rotation a little bit as P.J. Brown gets a nice ovation going to the bench. We've seen a time, sometimes it's Poe, sometimes it's Big Baby Davis. He's changed it around, but whoever's out of the rotation stays ready. That's what I love, role acceptance. Understanding that you may play in some night, in some series, others not so much. And a foul call on Paul. That's his third. Celtics with their second team foul. And really the only explanation where everybody that comes in off of the bench, whether they're called upon or not, whenever they're called upon, they're ready. The only explanation for that is great leadership. Great leadership from the coaching and great leadership from the staff. They set the tone. Kobe Bryant, alley-oop, again, nice pass. Bryant and Turiaf connecting for the second time. That side pick and roll has really hurt the Celtics. Even though the score is up there in cushion-wise, they're going to have to have a better answer coming back to L.A. for side pick and roll defense. Garnett knocks down the jumper. Well, they keep hitting shots, stopping the Lakers from getting back in the game. They're shooting 54% from the field. Farmar. Knocks down a three. Not like the Lakers are shooting a bad percentage. They're 48%. But they haven't gotten to the line, and they've turned the ball over excessively. 14 turnovers. Garnett misses that one. Cole with another contribution, and he's fouled. Lakers not in the penalty. Pierce will return. His first personal, second team 
Ray Allen will sit. Allen with 15 points. And this is how good Rondo's playing. He is now playing the point guard position. Overrides the call and he wants strictly pick and roll where he is making all the decisions. Garnett, jump shot. Garnett again. 15 points, 12 rebounds for Garnett. And Rondo with his 15th assist of the game. Well, he's figuring it out. The way that the Lakers are playing pick and roll, they're doing a bad job, and he is picking them apart, finding the picker in Kevin Garnett for a wide open jump shot. Vujicic misses, Garnett the board. And it's going to be Celtics ball when we come back. Second straight game, Boston's bench with an impact. Led by young Leon Cole. A tremendous performance. Cole's only played 12 minutes, but he's got 18 points. Five for five from the field, 11 free throw attempts, and the Celtics in complete control. ABC, brought to you by Welcome Home Roscoe Jenkins on DVD June 17th, rated PG-13. GMC, we are professional grade. And Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Aerial coverage brought to you by Goodyear. Get there. On Comfort Tread Technology. Here in Boston, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of football faces. Doug Flutie, Vince Young, Donovan McNabb, and Jeffrey Lurie from the Eagles. Well, they're not all football faces. There's Laker fan Leonardo DiCaprio. Tough to be a Laker fan today. Well, you've got it. Point out his girlfriend, Paul Rafali, from Israel. Leon <laughs> Paul, meanwhile, makes it more miserable for DiCaprio and the Laker fans. How do you know those things? Well, that was in Us Magazine again. I saw, <laughs> saw pictures of that. Kobe Bryant on the pull up. Shot won't go. Got it. Lost it out of bounds, deflected by Radmanovich. Leon Paul with 20 points. Now, I don't care how you look at it. You Phil Jackson. This is Paul defense by your team. Got to get better. Rondo, meanwhile, with his 16th assist. Here's Stubble. They're canning Leon Paul. Garnett again. Celtics right now just dismantling the Lakers. You're DiCaprio, you're thinking this is Titanic right now. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> Little pop culture reference. Kobe Bryant knocks Kobe. it down. If you're right now, if you're the Lakers, are you more concerned with the offense in terms of how it's going or just the lack of defense? Lack of defense, lack of competitiveness on the board. And if I was Bill Jackson, I would hope this got up to about 30. There were some points during the regular season where you guys were both impro impressed with the Laker defense, but it's been very inconsistent. Oh, very inconsistent, and it starts with force, it starts with intensity. They've had a disappointing start to the final so far defensively. They have to bring it and look forward to going back to L.A., but it has to start with energy, passion, and commitment. Leon Paul hearing chants and just... His second NBA Finals game, this young man who overcame so much adversity growing up in Oakland, and as we spoke of earlier, having the game of his life on the biggest stage. 96-73, Kobe Bryant foul on his way to the basket. Now Bryant, 8 for 18, shooting numbers not bad, 19 points, 6 assists. But it's obvious that the Celtics have done a good job on it, both the regular season and now. The way their defense is playing, they've done an excellent job on it. And the reason why is not about him getting numbers, it's how he gets the numbers. 
is he dominating on the offensive end when the Lakers have the basketball? Are we forcing him to work? Doc Rivers has to be totally satisfied with the way that his team is defending against Kobe Bryant. And Tom Thibodeau is assistant coach. The strategy, the game plan that was put together is working thus far. Thibodeau is not only, as we talked about earlier, a terrific coach. You talk about a guy with some emotion and passion on the sidelines. He, now he's relaxing now, but he is nonstop. Yeah, I mean, he knows there could be a hurricane number 24 coming at him in two days, so you're not going to pound your chest if you're the coaching staff of the Celtics right now. End series, next three games after the night. Back in L.A., Poe trying to, I think that was an alley-oop to Garnett. They're going to count it as his first miss. It's all alley up to Bryant. Tried to tip it in. Bryant looks at Bob Delaney. Thought there was some contact there and just walks away. This was not expected tonight. A blowout for the Celtics. Lakers came out strong. They led by seven early in the game. And then the Celtics completely turned it around. Led by 12 at half. Pierce traveled. Shot won't count. Fisher tends to go up for those fakes. <laughs> the Brent Barry play. I like Paul Pierce getting back saying good call. Recognizing I did shuffle my feet. Correct call was made. Do you say good call if it's a tight game? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Kobe Bryant. Brad Manovic. That's his third three-pointer, and cuts it to 18 for just over six minutes remaining here in the fourth. And this might be a better matchup for, for Rodmanovich, playing at the four spot. You can spread the floor, plus then he doesn't have to guard Paul Pierce. Rondo to Poe, Bryant the rebound. Kobe Bryant has not given up on this game yet. Fisher taken away with a foul call. Only the fourth team foul. So the Lakers will take it out of bounds. Cole picks up his fourth foul. And we're going to have a timeout. Just past the midway point of the fourth. Celtics still with an 18 point lead. Leon Paul having a spectacular game off the bench, 21 points in 15 minutes, a career playoff high. What a job he's done for Doc Rivers. Well, an outstanding story when you talk about this young man. Came ready to play when called upon. Easy lay-in to set the tone early. Good job of running the lane, finishing in transition. Spectacular play by Rondo, the fake pass, and then finding Cole, taking the big of the Lakers upstairs and then coast to coast. Inexcusable defense. This looks like Dr. J in the ABA days during a dunk contest. Who's going to stop the basketball? Oh, putting on a clinic. During a regular season, he averaged under eight points a game. During the playoffs, he's only averaged four and a half. Perhaps bringing back memories of another unsung hero in the NBA Finals, Scott Wedman. Once was 11 for 11 from the field for the Celtics back in game one in 1985 when Leon Poe. Unexpected huge scoring game. Dr. J, wherever you are listening, <laughs> I apologize for my partner, Mark Jackson, making the statement that Leon Poe <laughs> reminds him of you in a dunk contest. That could be the most embarrassing statement uttered on the ABC airwaves. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's now 16 with 5.45 remaining. Once was 24. Making the guy feel good. Pierce, and he's hit. Reminder to Tuesday, June 24th, biggest splash of the summer comes to ABC. Each week, 24 players take on the world's most outrageous obstacle course. We dare you not to cringe or laugh. Wipeout, June 24th at 8, 7 Central on ABC. So many reality shows, so little time. <laughs> I mean. You'll have, you'll have time during the summer. The Mole, Wipeout. Wow. 
Celtics now 23 of 31 from the free throw line. Po had 13 of those free throws. And Paul Pierce not showing really any effects at all with the knee injury. Both teams from now on will be in the penalty. Radmanovic almost lost it. Celtics have just done a tremendous job keeping them on the perimeter. Radmanovic, that high arcing three. The soul tips it to himself out to Vujicic. Quick three pointer. That's good. And it's 97-83. Slowly chipped away. And there's still over five minutes left. Rondo to Garnett. Shot clock down to seven. Garnett passed up the first shot. Misses the second one. Rebound back out to Ray Allen. Left-handed. Big play from Ray Allen. He's got 17 on the lead back up to 99-83. And that's the problem. It's not a question of whether the Lakers can put something together offensively. They're very well capable, but they haven't found a way to stop the Celtics. 30 assists for the Boston Celtics. Fisher, that's a three. Well, they're 8 of 16 from downtown as well. Celtics 8 of 12, so both teams excellent from three-point range. And again, so many switches by the Celtics led to an inevitable breakdown and an open three-pointer for Fisher. Well, the Lakers slowly chip away at the lead. Garnett against Gasol. Tough shot. Banker won't go. Chance of defense. Crowd may be a little anxious right now. Rodmanovic for three. Won't go. And the ball tipped and taken by Garnett. That would have put it to 10. And Posey is fouled by Radmanovic. He'll go to the line. As Radmanovic greets some fans and some camera people. Timeout call by Doc Rivers. I think it's going to be before that. So, Celtics will have the ball when we come back. So, the timeout call before the foul on Radmanovic, and we'll take a break. 3.48 remaining in the fourth. Celtics holding on to a 13 point lead. In 1944, a strange creature was captured by the U.S. government. Since then, he has lived among us in secrecy, protecting humanity from the things that go bump in the night. I wouldn't do that if I were you. This summer, good never looked so bad. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Now stay down! In theaters July 11th. Kevin Garnett having a strong game. He's also getting involved in some charity work during the finals as Adidas has launched a rare NBA Finals version of his team signature commander shoe to commemorate the Celtics run of the championship. Only eight pairs will be sold per game at over $1,000 with all the proceeds going to NBA Cares partners in the Boston area. One special pair will be signed by Garnett and auctioned off at NBA.com after the finals. Garnett doing good work for charity and excellent work for the Celtics. 17 points, 14 rebounds. Ray Allen kicks it out. Posey for three. Another three for the Celtics. Nine for 13. And that puts it back up to a 16-point lead. Kobe Bryant up and under. Rebound, Radmanovic. Good follow from Radmanovic. John Rondo with 16 assists. Allen on the drive. Posey, another three. Uh, Monovich, quick outlet, and it's one to the three minute mark. Kobe Bryant for three. That's good. Kobe back to 11. This is the closest it's been since early in the third. You're the Celtics offense where you don't want to start looking at the clock. You want to continue to be aggressive. That's a good shot by Posey in the corner off the penetration. Rondo draws the foul, and he'll go to the line with 2.34 left. 
Lakers trying to get back in the game. They're on a 20 to 7 run, but this is good basketball. Drive and kick, Ray Allen to James Posey. The easiest three point shot in the corner. He knocks it down. Celtics still up 11. The NBA Finals will resume Tuesday back in Los Angeles. Lakers can't wait to get back to the Staples Center. Coverage begins at 8.30 with GMC NBA countdown. Tip off shortly after 9 Eastern. Games 3, 4, and 5. Meanwhile, tonight's Verizon Wireless game track, Mark. Well, you talk about Paul Pierce early setting the tone for the Celtics. 24 points, 4, 4, three-point range, 8 assists, sharing the basketball. Leon Poe in 15 minutes has put his impact on this ball game. 21 big points, setting the tone aggressively, fast break basketball. And then Kobe Bryant, 24 points, 9 of 21 from the field, 8 assists, but they're making them work. It's been the Celtics defense. Rondo missing the free throw. The disparity now from the line. 33 attempts for Boston. Eight for Los Angeles as we send it to Michelle. Hey, Mike, during the timeout, Doc Rivers said something very interesting to his team. He said, it's really important that you don't let the Lakers get comfortable. I don't care about the score. We're letting them get comfortable for the next game. Don't let them get comfortable, especially their role players. Well, after two missed free throws, Lakers can get it to single digits, Michelle. Bryant to the basket, drives and puts it in. And it's a nine-point game. This is the closest they've been in the second half. Touched on it. It boils down to getting stopped. If you're the Lakers, how are you going to get back in this game? It stops on the defensive end. Pierce to the basket. Backs it in. Once again, can't get the stops. Pierce with 26. You're going to win a championship. You have to be able to say, okay, lockdown time defensively. And the Lakers cannot do it. Bryant left-handed puts it in. He got half by Pierce on the way to the basket. Kobe Bryant now with 28. The Celtics aren't playing any defense either. You look at the Lakers' numbers right now. They're scoring at will. Yeah, they've lost their edge defensively. Pierce knocked away and stolen by Fisher. It's knocked to the ground. Two on one, Brad Bonovich. Kuyacic for three. That's good. And it's 104-98, a six-point game with 127 remaining. Outstanding read by Kuyacic. Goes for the home run ball, fades out to the three-point line, and knocks it down. It's a two-possession game with still over a minute to play. A 27-9 run by the Lakers. Five on the shot clock, deflected by Radmanovic, and stolen! Here comes Radmanovic, in for the dunk! And a four-point game! This crowd is stunned right now. There's still 103 remaining. Vladimir Radmanovic with 13 points and 10 rebounds, and it's 104-100. Guy what a talk, turnaround. The guy we talked about struggling defensively, finding a way to get it done. Hand in the passing lane, chases down the loose ball. Lakers on a 29-9 run. Traveling violation, but Rodmanovic gets away with it. Celtics up four. Don't go anywhere. Lakers were down by 24 with just over seven and a half minutes remaining here in the fourth. They have just gone on an, an offensive roll. It was 29 to nine run, as Mark said, and now they're within four. And it's a big time play. They get the job done defensively, come up with the loose ball help, and then take a look at Vujicic on the opposite side. Instead of going in for a lay-in, fades to the three-point line. Good read by Rodmanovic, knocks down the long ball, puts pressure on the self. And still plenty of time left. Both teams, actually, L.A. has two timeouts remaining. Celtics only have one. Boston, what do they need to do here, Jeff? Well, they need to get a good quality shot and then get their defense set because right now the Lakers put four knockdown three-point shooters on the floor. And when Bryant's in the game right now attacking in the penalty, it's going to be very difficult to stop them in transition. They're going to get the ball to Garnett. Rondo on the drive. Kicks it back out to Posey. Posey to Rondo. Rondo, a jump shot. Won't go. Rebound Bryant. Here come the Lakers. 
Down by four. Bryant, and he's fouled by Pierce with 38 seconds remaining. Lakers can cut it to two with a couple of free throws. And what's so critical about that is they can make it a one possession game. So on the defensive end, they don't have to foul. Lakers try to put off what would be perhaps the greatest comeback in NBA playoff history. Celtics remember back in the 2002 conference finals against the Nets were down 20 in the fourth quarter came back and won in this building and this would be even bigger. But to do it on the road would be incredible and I like how the Lakers played Rondo that time. They didn't come at all on his penetration. Play him as a passer. A two point game. 38 points four remaining. Lakers have come back from 24 down here in the fourth. Allen leads his feet. Rondo back to Pierce. Crowd standing so nervous. Pierce on the drive, up and under, and he draws the foul with 22.8 remaining. And critical free throws right now for Paul Pierce. See the Lakers trying to take Paul Pierce out of the picture by defending him with Kobe Bryant. They put him in a high pick and roll, gets him some space away from Bryant, gives him room to dance, creating the contact, getting into the seams of the defense. And a great screen adjustment by Kevin Garnett to free up Pierce. Big free throws from Pierce. He hit some clutch ones. Throughout the playoffs, game seven against Cleveland, he's knocked them down and gives the Celtics a three-point lead. This one is huge. Again, the Lakers still have two timeouts remaining, and the Celtics do not have a foul to give. They've been in the penalty for a while. Two clutch free throws from Paul Pierce. And Phil Jackson will use one of his timeouts. An unbelievable turnaround. Celtics with a little breathing room right now. 106-102. As Paul Pierce now with 28 for the game. And two important free throws. This is just incredible. Everybody in the place thought this was was over. 24-point lead with just over seven and a half minutes remaining. We've seen it so many times, usually in the regular season. Teams lose their edge, let their guard down. This was incredible for the Lakers. Well, like you said, everyone thought the game was over, including the Celtics team, and that's how they played. They played the score instead of playing the game the way they did. Mark, you see that with teams that what got them the lead, they just stopped doing. They're trying just to play the clock and hope the clock runs down. And you heard Doc Rivers and Michelle touched on it. He, he spoke to his team about the fact you have a team on the ropes questioning themselves. Don't give them life. And the problem, win, lose, or draw right now, the Celtics gave the Lakers life. And 41 points, not only life, but perhaps a chance to win this game. Now, obviously, those free throws were big, but this one's not over yet. Certainly, the Celtics are going to have to hit some more free throws to clinch this one. And they're going to play quick. They're going to probably get the ball in the Bryant's hands, let him attack. And again, you can't give a lot of help right now because with Rodmanovich at the floor, the floor is spread with great three-point shooters. They've already made seven three-point shots this quarter. The crowd was celebrating much of the second half, and they had every right to. The Celtics dominating, blowing out the Lakers. But all of a sudden, the Lakers just kept fighting. We said Kobe Bryant, he's still trying, still trying to win this game. Uh, Bryant with 30 points, but he's had help. Radmanovic has hit some big shots as well. And it's now 106-102. Shot clock turned off with 22.8 remaining. What the Lakers love to do in this situation is Kobe Bryant taking the ball out of bounds. They like to hand the ball back off to him and let him make a play. Gasol looking as Radmanovic. Radmanovic to Vujicic, a three block, picked up by Posey, and Posey is fouled, a huge block from Paul Pierce, and the Celtics will go to the free throw line. Very interesting that the ball never got into Kobe Bryant's hand. Tremendous intensity by the Celtics, but as Mark said, I thought that ball had to get back into Bryant's hands. Tremendous 
blocked by Pierce and chase of the loose ball. He did a good job. Bryant was open on the right wing. He wanted the ball. Now Posey with a chance to get more breathing room for the Celtics. You know, in that situation, I would find Kobe with the basketball, realizing that we're all shooters around the floor. He's going to make a play for himself, or we can get a wide open three point as opposed to trying to create offense for myself. 12.6 remaining. Again, Lakers still have a timeout. Posey knocks down two clutch free throws. First Pierce, then Posey. Six point game, final seconds. Bryant, they've got to get off the three. Bryant kicks it in, back out Fisher. Fisher, that's a three pointer, puts it up, back of the limb, won't go. Rebound knocked loose out of bounds. With three tenths of a second remaining, and the Celtics will survive. A huge sigh of relief for Doc Rivers and the Celtics. And Boston goes up 2-0 in the NBA Finals. A wild finish at the Staples Center. A 24-point lead was cut to two. Kobe Bryant, the Lakers, almost one of the most incredible comebacks in NBA playoff history, but it falls short. And Boston hold serve at home. They win the first two as the series will now shift to L.A. Let's go to Michelle DeFoy. Thank you. With Paul Pierce, a 24-point lead got all the way down to two. How did that happen? I think we got kind of complacent with the lead. We wasn't staying aggressive. We let them pick up their pressure, and we stopped guard. Uh, we got to take a, a lesson from this fourth quarter to keep playing regardless of the score and finish the game. You had two clutch free throws you had to make just there at the end with about eight seconds left. What were you thinking at the line? Yes. Making the free throws. <laughs> you know, I was just saying, hey, it's a chance to ice it or pretty much give us, make it a two possession game. I want to make sure I knock them down. Going back to Los Angeles with a 2-0 lead and like you said, winning in the fashion you did. How does this affect your team's mindset as you head west? Well, we knew we had to get this win. This was a big win going out west. So our mindset is to get game three, try to take away their confidence and try to finish serious in L.A. We know it's going to be tough, but hey, nobody said it's going to be easy. Paul, thank you. Thank you. Here's Michelle with 28 points, 8 assists. He's going back for his home time. He's going for Inglewood. All of the old form. Now, of course, they're at the Staples Center, where he was superb, including two huge free throws in the final seconds. But Pierce had some help, including our T-Mobile player of the game, part of the terrific Celtic bench, Leon Poe, having the game of his life, 21 points in 15 minutes, and Poe, the T-Mobile player of the game. The upcoming schedule for the series, which resumes in L.A. on Tuesday. Games three, four, and five out in L.A. Game four Thursday, game five Sunday. And the Celtics will head west with a 2-0 lead. Final score, the Celtics 108 and the Lakers 102. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Coming up next on most of these ABC stations, except for the West Coast, is your late local news. For complete post-game coverage of tonight's game, go to ESPN and Sports Center. For Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, Michelle Tafoya, and our entire terrific ABC crew, this is Mike Breen saying so long from Boston. You're watching ABC, home of the NBA Finals.